Sovereign Gold Bonds SGBs are the perfect alternative to investment in physical gold. With these bonds, you can enjoy capital appreciation and also earn interest every year. These bonds issued by the government of India also eliminate several risks associated with physical gold. We hear many types of questions regarding sovereign gold bond. Before investing, common people are often confused about this. Let's know everything in detail about sovereign gold bonds. First question, what is sovereign gold bond SGB? Who is the issuer? SGBs are government securities denominated in grams of gold. They are substitutes for holding physical gold. Investors have to pay the issue price in cash and the bonds will be redeemed in cash on maturity. The bond is issued by Reserve Bank on behalf of Government of India. Second question, why should I buy SGB rather than physical gold? What are the benefits? The quantity of gold for which the investor pays is protected since he receives the ongoing market price at the time of redemption, premature redemption. The SGB offers a superior alternative to holding gold in physical form. The risks and costs of storage are eliminated. Investors are assured of the market value of gold at the time of maturity and periodical interest. SGB is free from issues like making charges and purity in the case of gold in jewelry form. The bonds are held in the books of the RBI or in DMAT form eliminating risk of loss of scrip etc. Third question, are there any risks in investing in SGBs? There may be a risk of capital loss if the market price of gold declines. However, the investor does not lose in terms of the units of gold which he has paid for. Fourth question, who is eligible to invest in the SGBs? Persons resident in India as defined under Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999 are eligible to invest in SGB. Eligible investors include individuals, HUFs, trusts, universities and charitable institutions. Individual investors with subsequent change in residential status from resident to non-resident may continue to hold SGB till early redemption maturity. Fifth question, whether joint holding will be allowed? Yes, joint holding is allowed. On sixth number, can a minor invest in SGB? Yes. The application on behalf of the minor has to be made by his/her guardian. Next one is, where can investors get the application form? The application form will be provided by the issuing bank's shell offices designated post offices agents. It can also be downloaded from the RBI's website. Banks may also provide online application facility. Its question is what are the know your customer KYC norms? Every application must be accompanied by the PAN number issued by the income tax department to the investors. On ninth, can an investor hold more than one investor ID for subscribing to the sovereign gold bond? No. An investor can have only one unique investor ID linked to any of the prescribed identification documents. The unique investor ID is to be used for all the subsequent investments in the scheme. For holding securities in dematerialized form, quoting of PAN in the application form is mandatory. Next question is, what is the minimum and maximum limit for investment? The bonds are issued in denominations of 1 gram of gold and in multiples thereof. Minimum investment in the bond shall be 1 gram with a maximum limit of subscription of 4 kilograms for individuals, 4 kilograms for Hindu undivided family, HUF, and 20 kilograms for trusts and similar entities notified by the government from time to time per fiscal year, April to March. In case of joint holding, the limit applies to the first applicant. The annual ceiling will include bonds subscribed under different tranches during initial issuance by government and those purchased from the secondary market. The ceiling on investment will not include the holdings as collateral by banks and other financial institutions. Do tell us what you think about this video in comments section and for more news updates subscribe to Aaj Tak AI.